Hello, everyone. Welcome to something that has been quite a long time coming. We are going to be finally playing Melty Blood. All of them. All the story content. Every single one. Because there's a lot, and I'm sure it's going to be very important to know for future, uh, you know, future entries and future media, especially some certain Phantasm shows, um, which we, we will be getting to. Uh, but we're going to start with the very first one, The Jank. Let's go with this amazing intro. It's so good. I've had to listen to it a couple times, just letting it load. That is a dang ass video game intro. I am so excited to be getting into this. Let's get going. Um, you might notice I am holding a controller and not my fight stick. I have moved, and part of my moving is my eyes are freaking out. I guess I'm so excited to play that my 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 brain is like, yo, are are you are you excited? Are you excited? Okay, let's just let's just do that. Okay. There we go. There we go. We should be good now. Um, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop that. Stop that. Um, yeah, no, I don't have a fight stick since I moved. So we are with a controller. I am actually using a pro controller just because it's, it's all I got. That said, you know what? I've, I've had worse controllers. I've had to use to play fighting games, and that's, that's fine. Um, as I said, this is the original, like, original Melty Blood I've not even included React yet. We'll be getting to that. Uh, this is the 1.0 pretty much, or 1.1 release. So not 1.0. Uh, before we get started, let's head to the options. Difficulty, let's put that down. Let's go to like, I feel like, a because I want to get the story, you know. Let's stick with a two. The round, two rounds is good. Number of retries in the story, give me four. And message speed and normal. That should all be good. So let's head on into story mode and uh, get started. Of course, we, we've, we've played both Kagetsu Toya and Tsukihime, so we know all about the actual story, right? Everything here, though, featuring the new characters, I don't know as much. So I'm really curious how this is going to go at the beginning of August. Traffic density, five cars per hour. That is nothing daily estimate of approximately 100 people using electric wet railways public transport is good temperature 38 degrees centigrade that is quite warm this summer the humid weather makes it painful to breathe someone said we look like fish in a tank gasping for breath Melty blood. What does it even mean? What 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 is the melty blood? All I know is it's a move that our quid can do. I heard that as I passed by on the street. I had to laugh to myself. A fish in a tank gasping for breath? It's true a fish out of water will suffocate, but not fish in a tank like us surrounded by moisture. Oh, it's a humid heat, that's even worse. Then I thought about it a little more. A fish left all alone will die. That's how it goes. It drifts motionless to the top, belly up. Okay, where, where are we going, buddy? The water stagnates. It grows dark with algae. 
The dead fish opens and closes its mouth. Ah, that's what they meant. Yet, those words describe this summer perfectly. The roasting air feels like you could hold it in your hand. It's impossible to see more than ten meters ahead. Even though it's the middle of the day, no one is around. The silence of abandoned ruins hangs over the town. In the streets, there aren't even the shadows of cars. You could sleep in the middle of the road without any worries. It's like I'm walking through the ruin of an ancient city, lost beneath the sea. So, what they said about the fish was dead on. I, Tonoshiki, okay, there's confirmation, aimlessly drift through this bright darkness. Oh man, it's just hot. Is, is he just like this every summer? That's not what we're playing. That's the original work. A strange summer. It's not that no one is here, it's just that no one is on the streets. The platforms by the trains are empty. All that passes by are the trains full of people. On the other hand, you can see where the people are if you look carefully. Inside the department stores, things are as busy as ever. The cafes are as full as any other day. It's only outside that looks empty and abandoned. It's a normal summer day inside the buildings. Right, everyone is inside. It isn't because it's hot. It's so hot outside. Rather, that rumor is the cause. Oh boy, more rumors. Did you hear? There was another murder in the park yesterday. Just rename it to Murder Park at this time. You mean the rumored vampire serial killer? I guess it hasn't ended yet. I hear voices discussing the same story yet again. The sound of the voices behind me, a group of girls eagerly sharing the latest gossip as they walk. Um, hey. I turn around to talk to them. About it. Wow. Bold move. There's no one there. The city is abandoned. As if the voices were just the wind and those girls passing by were just a mirage. Maybe to those girls, I was also just a mirage as I passed by. I realized my legs brought me to the park. There is no one here either, only the silence of deep night. Perhaps what the, this is what they mean by midnight sun. That, you know, like before, all those murders? The killer who murdered all those women for no reason? I know, I know, he's back. I heard they found bodies ripped up apart in the alley. The voices catch me and I turn around. Schoolboys, hazy in the light of the midnight sun, fade away. The words Midnight Sun are very strange. That is the reason why Tonoshiki walks through the town alone. When did all these rumors start to spread throughout town? They say the murderer is back. They say the victims die from blood loss. They say the killer is a vampire, death itself. The incidents from one year ago had almost been forgotten. Okay, it's been a year. But I know it is impossible for that vampire to have returned. That killer died, and no other vampires have appeared. But that hasn't stopped the rumors from spreading. All across the city, they whisper the stories, the body count rising with each telling. Yesterday was the park, today it's the alley. Will it be the school tomorrow? The body count is still rising. More and more people believe in the rumors, until no one will go out at night. This is exactly what happened one year ago. The suffocating heat. The town where traffic has ceased. But the strangest thing is, there are no strange murders this time, just the rumors. Live crazy dream. I feel dizzy. Not surprising, since I've been walking all over town since morning. My parched throat wants a drink from the machine, but it seems I don't have my wallet. Aw oh, man, just don't have any luck these days. I complain softly, but it's true. The phrase seems to be popular this summer. Actually, everyone I pass seems to be saying that. Bad luck. I feel so uneasy. Only bad things happen. I'm heading in a bad direction. Accidents just keep happening. Like the time my foot slipped on the stairs, or when I accidentally saw Hisui changing, 
And Akiha and Kohaku kept teasing me. I mean, that's not that big of a mistake. Or that misunderstanding with Arkwood where she got so upset. Or when I broke that dish Senpai liked so much. So much unhappiness at each little thing. The heat makes it so hard to think, but... Maybe there's nothing strange about it at all. And other people are having bad luck too. But then again... It seems to skip over the faultless Arkwit, the common composed seal senpai, the perfectionist Akiha, and cleaning master Hisui. Then, in other words, is it just all these coincidences that give me a bad feeling? Is it not coincidence, but inevitability? It, it was inevitable you walk in on someone changing in that house, dude. There is just too many goyles. Uh, again, the words of someone passing by. I sense someone turn around behind me. Excuse me. A girl I've never seen before bows curtly and walks away. That's rare. A foreigner. No, it's not. My man, you know more white women than most people like in North America. Like... Tsukihime might as well be named White Women Wednesdays. Well, not exactly rare. Yeah, okay, there we go. After all, Arkwit and Seal Senpai are both foreigners, yeah. The hair on the back of my neck starts to stand on end. Are we all ready? Did we, did we already hit the racist install? I stop walking and try to think why. After a few minutes, it hits me. Oh, is that it? Simple, really. I started wandering the town like this two days ago. That girl's the first person I've seen clearly. Dizzy again. Probably because I've been standing in the heat too long. You know, it's true. Summer is like a bad dream. Hologram Summer, Night on the Bloody Liar. You're just putting together English words. Pro Whoa. Yo, is this one of those games that's it's all simulation? I wouldn't mind that. What the frick? What? Severing contact from Tonoshiki. Successfully withdrew ether light from his brain while passing by. Have moved to, to a sufficient distance. Strange. Did it fail? Did I fail? Tonoshiki had a strange expression on his face when he saw me. I do not think anyone can detect a filament only a micron thick. Oh, is that it? Tonoshiki spoke those ambiguous words and sat down beside a flower bed. He was probably dizzy. His data indicates that he is not in favorable health. I did not think we went out of ADV mode in this. Okay. Interesting. Oh! Funky. Oh, no, I, I need to wait for this to hit. Come on. Oh, oh my god. Yo, yo, we got a funk remix of that Tsukihime song? That's amazing. This is sick. This is the alley. No sign of anyone being here for at least a week. This is where Tonoshiki entered into his contract with the true ancestor Arkwid, and thus fought with chaos. Tonoshiki's mystic eyes of death perception allow him to see the lifespan, the end of existence for any object. Here he first met the true ancestor Arkwid Brunstad. No, it wasn't really their. It was really their second meeting. The first time, Tonoshiki was a dangerous killer ruled by his taste for death, who barged into her plans. Yes. According to the memory files I, I read, oh, interesting. Tonoshiki is normally a kind-hearted individual. However, racist impulses may emerge. He cannot be classified as harmless. Do not meet him on a white woman Wednesday. Able to perceive an existence as death, Tonoshiki can dismantle anything using his knife. He is the only one who can kill the immortal true ancestors. True ancestors, a legend which is 
been handed down through the ages and never fades. Vampires, destroyed by this light of the sun, the living dead, which can drink the blood of others in exchange for immortality. And the beginning of the vampire race, the true ancestors. Humans whose blood were sucked by true ancestors become blood-drinking monsters themselves. Those who become vampires because of true ancestors are called dead apostles. Most vampires today fall in this subspecies of dead apostles. The oldest and most powerful of these are called the 27 ancestors. Oh boy, we learned a bit about these, yep. Nero, one of the 27 ancestors, was annihilated here. Just reading here. Primite Murder, The Dark Six, Brunstud, Zellretch, Ort. We definitely know some of these. Rizwal, Valstrout, Aina. It's like, is that Ainashi? Finna Blood. Finna Blood Smelton. Altruge. God, I still wonder what Artruge. I. That's the. Altruge is the one I'm most interested in. Nero Chaos. Stanrobe. Tatari Wallachia. Okay, I've heard those names before. So, again, I guess I should preface. Um, I definitely have knowledge of some of the Melty Blood stuff because I've seen these characters in, like, Salty Bet for years. I mean, when you're a fighting game player, you you know about Wallachia and you know about Tatari. Like, these, these you've, you've seen or heard of these. So, if, if you're expecting Fully Blind, again, I knew some of this right from just playing fighting games. Grand Cirque Blackmore, Enhance, God Enhance is super cool. Um, okay, okay, we, we learned about these in um, Kigatsu Toya. Shortly thereafter, the servant of Akasha, who had his blood sucked by an ancestor, had his cycle of reincarnation ended here. Number 10 of the true ancestors, or number 10 of the, yeah, whatever, the ancestors near Chaos. Unnumbered, the serpent of Akasha, Michael Roa Baldam Young. Oh, interesting, he's unnumbered. Even the knights of the church were unable to defeat the two of them. Did no one predict they would meet their end in this Far East country? No, there was one person who predicted it. Predicted. There was one who saw the possibility of the outcome. It wasn't a very detailed prediction. His equations formulated that the ancestor will fall to ruin in this land. The ancestor had fallen, but the true ancestor still remains. Of course, the agent of the church is still watching, and other factors continue to interfere with further calculations. The power structure of the country Japan is different than ours. There are peculiar rules followed in this country island. Island country. One of these rules is to let demons take care of demons. The ones unifying the demons in this area is the Tono family. The current head's mixed blood resulted in abilities closely resembling the vampiric race. Tono Akiha. I'm interested in her as well, but he... Okay, but he and the true ancestor are my primary concern. I was like, you're not calling... You don't think Akiha's a dude? No, no, that's just a mistake. I see. There's no time left. I have spent too much time observing this place. If it escapes this time, there may not be a second chance. Three years ago, the vampire escaped the hands of the church. I will destroy it this time with my own hands. There are several days until the full moon. As much as I do not wish to admit it, I am going to fight with calculations that do not guarantee victory. A sad thing for an alchemist of the Atlas Academy. Not Institute? Okay. We mostly say Atlas Institute, but okay. However, it is not too late. I mean, of course, we've... We've come a long ways since this game was fan-translated. <laughs> Three years ago, after that failed vampire hunt, I left the Atlas Academy. The Magi Association has cast its feelers far and wide to search for me, a deserter, and bring me back. Interesting. Fleeing them has taken a toll on my mind and body, which had already begun to fail. All the same, I made it. There is still the possibility that I will accomplish my goal. I must hurry. I have only one purpose, to exterminate that vampire. The affliction of a vampire's desecration of a human body and the vampire whose roots spread here in this town. Because I must remove them both, I... You... what? You what? Oh, snap. That's a Shadow the Hedgehog map. Are you serious?
We're doing the Shadow the Hedgehog map? Okay. Okay, interesting. Where the frick are we? Oh, is this the Atlas Institute? Sion Eltnam Sakaris, hereby decreed as candidate for Academy Director. The grim face of the university president reading the edict. Oh, wait. Is the Atlas Academy like a school in the Institute? I bet you that. Okay, that makes sense. The students and the teachers look at each other wide-eyed. Unhushed whispers rise and hundreds of eyes face me. Surprise. I'm astonished. I never would have thought it. Blame. Unforgivable. Denial. I can't believe it. Other words I can't make out, blending together into sounds as arcane as the syllables of a spell. Henceforth, Sion Eltnim will be Sion Eltnim Atlassia. Okay, interesting. She will be accorded the privileges and respect of an instructor and have the same status as ambassador at large. The words of the university president are absolute, not just because of the authority of his position, but because the words make it clear as a command. There is no protest from the audience, only more glares directed at me. It's not as though I've suddenly changed. Of all those gathered in the Great Hall, only the university president and I seem calm. As for everyone else, the students and even the teachers are dumbfounded with surprise. I suppose it's natural. I am now Sion Eltnim Atlassia. Those given the name of Atlas are chosen to represent this academy. No one would have guessed that of all the students and the faculty, it would be Eltnim. Of course, I was calm. Not that I was informed beforehand I would be given the name Atlassia. Simply that among the Atlas Association... Oh, now even the association... Okay. Okay, so let me get this straight. The Academy is part of the Institute. And the Institute is controlled by the Association. I'm assuming, at least. Simply that among the Atlas Association, I was the only one with the requisite power. Instead of being surprised, it was rather natural to be bored. Just, what has changed in my life since then? I do not look any different in the mirror. Since I was in Eltnam, a once noble house, the others treated me with contempt. I excelled as a student to erase the sin of my ancestor. The others wanted only to have me removed. So we've, we've, we've seen a lot of the Eltnams in various stuff. In Fate's, uh, Fate Extra, in Frick Grand Order, right? So now we get to sort of actually understand what's going on with this. As long as I was the top student in the class, all they could do was ignore me. Once I became Atlassia, I had the power to remove them. They were afraid of my retribution. They probably believed I would treat them in the same manner they treated me. They did not want to receive any contempt. I am a noble. The blood of the sinner Eltnem runs through me, but I am not ruled by my emotions. In the first place, I do not feel any emotions towards them anyway. If they wish to distance me, then I will keep them distance. That will not change from before. I do not need anyone, so I do not need to associate with them. Dang, girl. Dang. You're like... I mean, you're robotic, but it feels in a different way from, like, like Hisui, right? I already had the needed laboratory, so I just continued to excel in my studies. It was eight years ago. What was correct? What was mistaken? Even now, I don't really know for certain. How old is she? That's something I don't actually know. Now, I, I do notice the scars on her cheek there. Got me a bit curious. Not good. It's already this late. I opened my eyes. It was because I was so exhausted. I saw a meaningless dream. No, because I was dreaming, you could say I was not completely exhausted. If my mind were truly burdened, I would not have seen anything. Okay, I disagree. I dream the most when I'm the most tired, but... And then I wake up even more tired. Especially if it's a fire dream. Probably because of overexertion during the day. There is something wrong with this much heat. I had heard that Japanese summers were hot, but I had not thought it would be this bad. 
the heat shining back from this town is too strong even for me, a child of the desert. I was going to say, you're from Egypt, aren't you? I thought I would sleep through the heat of the day, but it seems I could not control the time of my awakening. A cold night. I must have slept too long. Whatever the case, confusion is for certain. Not sleeping properly and not ordering all this information is setting myself up for failure. But before that, I must confirm where the next incident will occur. As long as I can move, I can finish the preparations. Fortunately, I have the data on this town I downloaded from Tonoshiki. I can find the source of all these incidents without needless roaming. Ah, come to think of it. Tonoshiki. Securing him is also a priority. It is before midnight. There are three possible routes he will take. It should be easy enough to determine his current location. I'm assuming we go... North? Okay, well, we went here. And then all that's left is this. I come out to an unfamiliar clearing, a small clearing apart from the office buildings. Until a short while ago, everything was uh, everything was another large city park, but now it transitions into private property. Wow, from down here it looks really impressive. I look up at the building under construction. I heard the monumental architecture would be finished next spring. Nobody seems to be exactly sure exactly what's going on, but it's something important. I've heard everything from a big department store to the corporate office of, for, of, of a powerful elect electronics company. The area around it is also being landscaped. Maybe I don't have to go this far. The land all around the building is perfectly flat like a mirror. The name of the building, Shrine, may be appropriate, but it's going a little too far. Okay. So I've heard of this called Shrine, and I've always wondered why it's called Shrine, but that's just the name of the building. Well, hold my breath and scan the area. No sign of anyone else around. Of course, there are less and less people as night falls, thanks to the rumors of the vampire murders starting up again, but I can understand why no one would be in the park or in the back alley, but this place is empty here. People for another reason. Well, after all, this is private property. The only people around would be trespassing, so why would I expect to see anybody? Oh. And then I get suddenly get assailed by nausea. My fingers are numb and my throat is parched. My pulse quickens, a feeling like poison creeping from the back of my brain. Without even realizing it, my right hand reaches into my pocket and soundlessly takes out my knife. This sensation. I've felt these chills so many times before. Am I just disposed to this? Before I meet with something unworldly, I always get assailed by this sensation. And I sense someone. Someone is standing right behind me. Someone. Human. On this private property where no one should be. A faint chill. And... The vampire has returned. But... Something is... Feels a little different. Are my reactions weak? It simply feels different from usual. A discomfort that indicates a presence of an outsider. Well, show yourself. Is it going to be the Goyle? Hello? Is someone there? I speak with my knife hidden behind my back and then... Good evening. Do you have business with me? Even though it was all so sudden, the girl speaks so calmly. Oh, uh, uh, female. Seeing her, I was startled. That distinctive dress and hat. And what a hat it is. What a hat. Definitely a foreign look, but I'm afraid to say it. She almost... She looks really cute. What is it? Uh, well, nothing. Um, sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Sorry to be so rude. You do not have to apologize. But that is not the way to greet someone, is it? Her tone is smooth. Not that she mentions it. It makes total sense. Well, lately, I've been off kilter. You're right. It's a little late, but... Good evening. Yes, nice to meet you. So, what are you doing here? Are you looking for something at this hour? Anna? Uh, yes, something like that. And what about you? You couldn't have not heard about how dangerous it is at night. Alright, if she's a foreigner, she wouldn't have heard the rumors circulating this town. Since she's probably just sightseeing, she wouldn't know anything about the vampire's murders last year either. Uh, it's nothing. Um... I don't know why you're here, but it's better to not hang around places where no one is around. You never know what might happen. She just stares at me. 
only natural. There's no way she can understand if me if I just keep suddenly blurting out all this stuff. No. You cannot say I don't know what will happen. Whatever shape he takes, the vampire will appear. Even you are patrolling in order to find him, are you not, Tonoshiki? Wh what? You could say we are looking for the same thing, Tonoshiki, although our reasons are very different. She speaks devoid of any expression. Those chills return, the pain in my temples are like a stabbing needle. An irregularity like you throws the equation out of balance. Unless I move quickly to root out any problems, the results this time will also be undesirable. Her arm swings forth and I hear an unfamiliar click. She holds a black gun in her hand. Now hold the phone. I know guns. Now I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but is this perhaps that gun? Please, resist if you wish. My name is Sion Eltnum Atlassia. Am I saying that right? I'm gonna say Atlassia because that's it's what it looks like. Your freedom now belongs to me. And with that, she jumps towards me. The foreign girl I've never met before attacks me with almost unspeakable speed. Fight time? Fight time, let's go. All right. We'll give this a shot and see how we go. So I am, I am the boy. All right. God, I'm not used to how slow this game is. Oh my goodness. Okay. I forgot he has his like, he has his like weird moves in this one. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I tried shielding. Oh, shield is weird in this. It doesn't exactly feel right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nope. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, well, we, that was close, that was close. Probably closer than it should have been. All right. Okay, okay there, there's no, there's no. God, why are you so slow? Forgot how really jank this is. Okay, right, his, his is on the second hit there. Okay, there we go. Yes! Sick. That's still so sick. 17 hits, baby. I love that. So I don't... I, I have no clue how the structure of this goes. I don't know if it's determined by which matches you win or lose or whatever, but we're just gonna go. And then I have a walkthrough included with the, uh... Totally... Totally real file I used to download this. I mean, disc. That'll help me if I need to. Ah. Uh. That's enough. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's meaningless to continue. Yes, I admit defeat. Even though I collected all your data, I could not finish reading it. Even if everything was walking on a tightrope, I can't believe I'm finished before I even had a chance to start. What's the matter? I have no strength to resist. This may be a selfish request, but please end it as cleanly as possible. Cleanly as possible? Look, you seem to know something about me, but aren't you making a big mistake here? I'm no killer out for blood. Usually. Even if you asked me, I wouldn't kill you. Not a killer? Yeah, I'm not gonna hit someone while they're down. I don't have a quarrel with you, so there's no need to take it all the way. If you promise you won't attack me, I'll let you go. You don't look like a vampire any... <laughs> We'll see, buddy. You don't look like a vampire anyway. This is troubling. I may keep quiet, but I will not lie. Therefore, I can't promise to not attack you again. That... You can't? Then... You mean, um... That's right. Once my wounds heal, I will bind you. If you don't like it, then you just have to kill me. 
for someone like you would be very easy. And yet, what do you mean, easy? Hmm? Did you say something, Tonoshiki? Yeah, I said something. I was complaining about being involved in something weird again. For crying out loud, if it's not one thing, it's another. Yo, he's actually really mad about this. I cannot understand. This seems to be causing you pain. You're the one who isn't understandable, but you don't look like you'll go back on your word. Yes, as long as I'm not mistaken, it will not change. I see. Your expression speaks for you. Why do I only meet these kinds of people? Well, anyway, uh, can you tell me about your situation? You've been telling me what to do, so maybe you can at least tell me why? My situation. You mean my purpose here? Yeah. For some reason, you don't seem like a bad person. If you could tell me your situation, I'll listen. I'm also kind of curious why you attacked me. I understand. I was told you were not a bad person, and this confirms it. I should have explained the circumstances from the very start, Tonoshiki. My goal is to find a cure for vampirism. I've been researching a way to return humans bitten by a vampire back to normal. Oh, that's interesting. A cure for vampirism? Yes. As you know, someone who became no longer human after being bitten by a vampire. You can understand, right? The result of someone being desecrated by a vampire is death. Of course, we know how a human could become a vampire. We don't know if a vampire could return to being a human. Many magi have attempted to research this problem and failed, but I do not intend to. I will make the impossible possible. That is what Atlassia means. Tonoshiki, I believe you can understand how I feel. Like you, like me, you have seen a friend become a vampire before your eyes. You seem to know a lot about that. Uh, that was inconsiderate of me. This is upsetting you. No, it's okay. I'm just being childish. I understand what you're saying. You want to find a cure for vampirism. Well, I can't hate you for something like that. But why did you attack me? I'm not turning into a vampire, and I don't know a lot about them either. Of course, I did not come here to make you a research specimen. I came to this country to ask the cooperation of the true ancestor. Yeah, true ancestor is an Arquid? Yes. If I want to find a cure for vampirism, I have to study the source of dead apostles, a true ancestor. If I merely needed data on the dead apostles, the church has compiled much of that. However, that is insufficient. I need to investigate an unaltered true ancestor. I see. But I'm not sure Arkwood would go for that. She's kind of fickle that way, especially towards other white women. I know that. A noble true ancestor would not grant the request of a mere mortal. I need you to negotiate for me. Me? Negotiate? Uh, idiot, it's not gonna work. You think she'd listen to me? Where'd you get an idea like that? Well, you... the true ancestor, aren't the two of you... lovers? Who I'm lovers with is very ambiguous, we don't talk about it. With you as a mediator, perhaps I could speak with her a little. That is why I wanted you to secure you first. This is all the result of my carelessness. What? Carelessness? You mean before? Yes, I drew in all your data. The numbers indicated we are evenly matched, but my thorough knowledge meant my chances of winning were high. However, my loss means my abilities were the slightest fraction lower. Uh, then... That isn't being careless, doesn't it? Just mean your fighting ability is... What, what are you saying? I only lost because of carelessness. Excessive carelessness. My performance was far below my standard. I admit I miscalculated your power, but under normal circumstances I would be victor. You see, an hour ago I calculated every single one of your maneuvers. Doesn't this mean my evasion rate data was off by less than 0.5%. If not for that one small mistake, our positions would be completely reversed. Can you not understand such a simple thing? Uh, right. Sorry I doubted you. Um, no. I was being a little rude. I would appreciate it if we just changed the subject. She seems totally different from before. To get back to your problem, you really just want me to bring Arkwood to you? Yes. My intent was to formally request the true ancestor's cooperation. I see. So I won't even give up even now? Okay. If that's the case, oh well. Oh well? What do you mean? 
I mean, I can act as a middleman between you and Arkwit. In all likelihood, she's going to say no, but you wouldn't give up unless we tried, right? Come on, it's just asking for cooperation, right? So I'll lend you the hand. To be honest, I'd like to cheer on someone doing your kind of research. Cheer on? Yeah, suddenly attacking me out of nowhere is surprising, but we can call it even. If your research is successful, I feel like I can finally help her. Now that her could be one of a couple things. Um, that could be potentially, you know, CL or Arquid. Or it could be someone else. One thing I have heard is that Melty Blood stems from a root that doesn't exist yet, let's say. I'll do something about Arquid. Actually, I'm looking for her right now. I figured she would know something about these disturbances happening. I went to her place, but... So she has concealed her location. Yeah, but patrolling the town, I thought I'd find the rumored vampire, or at least Her Highness the Fickle Princess. I understand, and I can lend you a hand in your purpose. If you're tracking down the rumors, I can find the vampire more quickly than you can. Uh, really? Yes, if the rumored vampire does exist. Data gathering is my specialty. If I at least have a backup, I can scan the minds of everyone in the town in one day. Mm, I don't really quite understand, but you don't have to go that far, do you? She's got a scary look in her eyes. But, yeah, I'd appreciate any help. I was feeling kind of hopeless by myself. Then, I will chase down these rumors. And you? It's alright if I look for Arkwit and bring it to you, isn't it? But there's another thing before that. Before that? It's Sion, right? If we're going to be partners, we should call each other by a first name, shouldn't we? That should mean nothing to you. Not a Japanese person. You have a point. Very well. You may call me Sion. And you? Ah. Shiki's fine. Sh Shiki. Why are you making such a big deal? You're a foreigner. This means nothing to you. Yeah, that's much better, isn't it? Shiki. Yeah. Shiki. Yeah, I, I said that's fine. Then I will go start gathering information on the vampire. Please prepare for negotiations with a true ancestor, Shiki. Yeah, we don't have to go right away, you know. That would be the best, I think. We'll both need some time. Let's meet again tomorrow night, in, right here in front of this building. Okay, I think I can manage something by then. Shiki, can you hold on for a minute? Uh, did I have something on my head? Something like that. Well then, see you tomorrow night. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Hmm, seems a little familiar. Reminds me of a, about a year ago. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Sion. Yes. See you tomorrow night, Shiki. Okay, they got along to be friends a lot faster than I expected, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so is it okay, so it's moving automatically. So I didn't have a choice. So I wonder. I wonder. The daughter of Atlas, Sion Eltnam Atlassia. I do want to get her backstory. That night, the air was maddeningly hot. Where are we now? Water. I run, seeking any moisture I could find. I run through the dark forest. I run through the hell of the steep mountain pass. Compared to walking through the familiar deserts of my youth, the mountain path flooded with trees is like walking on needles. All the knights who had accompanied me are dead. No one is left alive. I go back to the village. All the villagers are dead. The well is dried up. The river is filled with corpses. Still, I crawl my way to it, hoping to find water. Ah, <sighs> choking, I drink and drink, as if I'm brought back to life. Something feels intertwined, like a large cloth endlessly intertwined. It's in my way, so I pull at it over and over. I tear and pull, but the cloth still gets in the way. Each time I bend to drink, I get wrapped further inside. I pull again, and the rustling cloth entangles in my fingers. Again and again. Rustle, 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 skin. The human corpse is shaped into a large sheet. Dead bodies, empty shells drained of everything inside the skin. 
of all the hundreds of people pushed and piled until the dark and damp rotted away their skin and it oozed together into one hideous sheet, 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 sheet. Horrible. Even seeing that, I need water so I continue to drink. They get in the way, but I drink anyway. The cartoon-like faces are actually comical. Yes, mutilated, fleshless, organless. The seemingly clothed corpses were piled up. Everything was drained. That vampire drank every last drop of their blood. What a nightmare, as if it was a curse. Atlassia, if you're the only one you have to survive. The speaker was one of the knights, the only one I knew. A knight of the shield. Now that could be one of two people in Melty Blood. A woman. Just like me, that's why I survived. Allowed to escape. She is definitely... That, again, that could be one of two distinct characters. It's not the, not the second one, I'll say that. That second one doesn't even exist yet. I run along the mountain path. I run until dawn. But there's no way out. This is like Disgaea music. The curse rebounded on itself. Cursing myself, I cannot escape from myself. And before my eyes, something appears black as night. It drinks and drinks. Filled to the brim, the blood leaks from its eyes. It is not enough. However much it drinks, it cannot be sated. Crying tears of blood, it begins to laugh. The fluttering of black wings, the black eyes draw near. Drip, drip. The rich red blood continues to flow. Dawn approaches, at, the, my, at my crawling ankles trying to escape something wet and slippery. The crying, laughing, blood-drinking monster. Really? Like jump scare face? Like Five Nights Freddy's? Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to be scared? And then I wake up. It is still daytime. Like in my dream, today is stiflingly hot. I think I am not suited for walking around during the day. In the first place, I spend most of my time indoors as an alchemist. Is that why she's pale for coming from the desert? My skin isn't used to being in the burning sun. Oh my god, that's literally why. Because you'd look at her and you'd say, You don't look like you come from Egypt. And that's why. At the same time, I made a promise to him, to Shiki, a promise to gather information on the vampire in his place. Longitude unmeasurable. The laws of time do not apply, yet it seems in a pre-designated pre space it is not born, but it is very troublesome. It is somewhat random as so we can... What the frick? What do you mean? What, what do you mean by that? All the pieces are assembled. Knowing what actions will take place, the future is simple. The appearance of the town has not changed. The streets are still empty. The heat radiates off them like smoke. What? Why did I volunteer? It occurred in a mountain village in Western Europe. If they needed alchemists, they should have requested the ones from Prague. I've been to Prague. It's a lovely place. Lovely, lovely place. Except I got grabbed by a man who wanted a hundred bucks for me. All the same, the church requested help from us, the Atlas Academy. Even though people pass me by, if I look behind me, no one is there. Only a strange emptiness. First, limit the conditions. The place where it will occur easily, the culture, the population, simulate world affairs. Consider the random appearance of aces. Asexual people. There's no one's asexual in the Nasuverse. Everyone's doing the do. 2000 Patterns is... Acceptable. Begin with all variables assigned values with only some... Okay, there's some simulation stuff going on. I raised my hand. They said they needed calculations, so I thought I would calculate. Yes, we need to calculate. This is the... This is... This is the most... Con like, uh, we've had some weird Nasuverse stuff, but three concurrent text boxes are wild. That is the all-encompassing fundamental, the alchemists of Atlas... Okay, so I'm assuming bottom is Shiki, top is Sion, and middle is 
simulation? It's just so hot. Too hot for even a desert dweller. Never mind. Oh, wait. Wait, is this her memory partition stuff? Not needed. Filter for optimal candidacy. 12,500 corresponding sectors on the Earth. Only those places are where it can occur. Wait, is this her memory partition thinking in multiple wavelengths? Measuring atmospheric pressure results in predicting the same type of time and place of a typhoon. It is the same, and grasping its general progression is, I hurriedly enter a large building in order to download data simultaneously from the gathered minds there. Oh, is this, is this her memory partitioning where she can think three times at once? With only poor magic circuits, we cannot rely upon magical means for the realization of the occult. Therefore, we only use our mind to do so. This is incomprehensible to anyone who didn't, like, who don't know. We read the stars, the wind, the people, the... This is why they call me the spir Spirit Hacker. Spirit Hacker. That's interesting. This filament, ether light, is able to compel and coerce the human nervous system. Okay. I'm gonna just do a quick Google of ether light. When is it real? It's a blockchain platform. Frick off, get that NFT stuff out of here. Okay, so is Etherlight. Okay, so so no, it's it's I, I was like, I wonder is Is Etherlight an old name for like Spiritrons? But it doesn't seem to be. We'll see. This filament ether light is able to compel and coerce the human nervous system. Possible. The problem, the problem is, the problem is, yes, guessing what its prime condition is, what its original cause of the phenomenon, why does it desire eternity, it cannot be. Okay. I... Such foolish, such foolishness, why would it desire that, is there... Because the intent is not to destroy the mind, you cannot call it cracking. I mean, I guess that's true. It's it's not cracking, it's hacking. World collecting information to diagram the root ancestry of events. Our brains are possessed by the demon of Laplace? What is... I, I cannot keep track of these simultaneously. We interfere with limitless possibilities, set up limited formulas for reading the future. Oh, right, I remember hearing about how they use Laplace's demon as a way to determine future events. I really don't need to do that. In the first place, I... A meaning to living forever, perhaps there is. Wishing to make the impossible possible, yet in the first place, well, oh, go, no, it's gone. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. Utter chaos, I want silence, cut. I have to tell myself not to cut, I'm still being influenced from that nightmare. Calmly, calmly, cut, cut have to block these thoughts from my mind. Third thought process halted. Seventh thought process. How many can you have? How many? I thought that's, I thought it was three, but there was more. Huh. Suddenly I'm very tired. My throat is parched and sore and my tired body collapses in on itself. I expel the air from my lungs. It's like breathing fire. Can't breathe. My vision blurs. If I don't rest, if I don't sleep properly, I won't get anywhere. I may only have two or three days left, but I can still move. If I can still move, I'm still alive. If I'm injured from last night's battle, but that won't slow me down. Hmm, I was really careless yesterday, wasn't I? I knew about Shaky's abilities, but I was never clear on his fighting experience. Maybe he only fought on a few occasions, but those were against members of the 27 Ancestors and an agent of the Church. If he was strong enough to stand against creatures like them, he could hardly consider me to be a real enemy. It is a little regrettable. What was that outburst? Shiki had already agreed to help me. There can't be any problem, so what is regrettable? My ether light is connected to him. If he tries to back out of our agreement, I can calculate his location easily enough. After we agreed to cooperate, I touched his head and attached my ether light. Not remote control, but direct contact with my ether light burrowing into his nervous system. Therefore, but that's just the case. I start to feel less and less well. I should stop thinking these extra thoughts. 
Anyway, I have to fulfill the promise I made with him. Information collection ended easily enough. It does not seem that most of the citizens have heard of the second coming of the vampire. But it is only thin rumor, not too different from the information that Shiki knows. All the same, no one denies the rumor. If the credibility is non-existent, it is a rumor accepted naturally. Everyone starts to feel bad. something bad is going to happen. The emptiness of the town has crept into their hearts. The town will bake in the heat today and probably tomorrow as well. The stage is set, a town under attack by fierce heat of record high temperatures, the spawning of strange paradoxes of unknown origin, terrible ideas, ill omens, visits to the temple portending bad luck. Coincidence, the dark night where uneasiness fed by anxiety becomes reality. Even though not one murder has occurred, everyone says it happened, and the vampire has returned. And during the deep night in the empty town, a lurking shadow which wanders the streets. Soon the moon will uh, form a perfect circle in the sweltering night, which seems itself to be in agony. Until then, I... I must guide this loose rumor into a def definite shape. Hmm. Well, what, what time are we at, roughly? About an hour here, so if I press start... So, uh, there we go. That works for me. I will save there. All right, guys, that is our first look at the story mode. There's actually like way more, way more reading than I thought. I thought there'd be a couple more battles, but um, for now, we are going to be saying goodbye. And next time, we'll continue with story mode. Um, like I said, I do want to show off kind of everything. So we'll be going through all the story mode routes. And then after that, well, at least the best way. Like, as, as, as soon as I do it the one way good, then I think I will stop that, stop that. Once I do it there, once I'm going to pop up the, the walkthrough to see what I can do to make it go better, um, to, to do everything kind of well. And uh, after that, uh, we'll be going through each of the arcade modes in uh, React, which adds actual arcade endings. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Melty Blood. Ciao, guys.